It started with Edgar Dookie Chase Sr. and that was in 1939. And that was the begin, the begin, and everything started to waltz together for our family. Miss Leah as a person, you know, she was loving, enduring, but very strong. My mother said, well, I don't know what talent I have, but I can cook. Well, that was it. So my mother cooked. She never stopped. Even at 93, 94, it was always creative. What can we do? Can we do this one different? You know, there was no charity event that she wouldn't do. And sometimes it would amaze me. We would go to an event and they would say, you got to feed 2,000. And it would just be me and her. And she was like, not a problem. Let's get cooking. So it's, it's just her love for food, her love for people, uh, and, and that passion is really why I think people recognize her as the queen of Creole cuisine. When I look in the kitchen, I see fifth generation. When I look on the flow, fifth generation. At those case years, fifth generations. Leah Chase's gumbo. And, you know, in grandmother's own words, that conversations happened, ideas were exchanged, and by that simple interaction, that the gumbo changed America. Because she felt that she could change the whole world over a cup of gumbo. Come on into my restaurant, and I'm gonna give you a bowl of gumbo, and we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna talk, and we're gonna find that common ground. And of course, when the community came together during civil rights time, and needed a place to be, our doors were open, and many secret meetings took place upstairs. Well, you know, we need to be able to service the community that's coming in. When the African American did not have a place to cash their checks, well, all of a sudden, we were cashing checks because that is what the community needed. It was for all the people in the community to come in. So Dookie Chase has always been known back in the day, even when it was illegal, to bring in a diverse group of people. So that was always their motto. How can we affect change? How can we impact this community, this world for the better? To come to Dookie's wasn't just to come to any restaurant. You were coming again into her home. Doesn't matter what race, culture you are, you are welcome here because that is what our, really our goal of our grandparents and parents were, to make everyone feel comfortable and welcome at Dookie Chase's restaurant.